Okay, so now we're out of Boeing's airspace. I made a call telling people in the area where we're at. And I'm going to have you take the cyclic and just follow along with me for a moment. So uh, do I let go of the... You can take the frictions and put it all the way forward again. So just to make sure we have the collective back. Okay. And I uh, got that all the way forward. Good. Um, so I'm gonna just going to have you focus outside, kind of imagine like where the horizon is, if there weren't hills there. Yep. And just pick a spot on the windshield and, and use that as a reference point. Like I have like a piece of bug guts for yep. me that I'm just using. Yep. And just keep that spot at the same place. So I'm going to give you just the cyclic. I'm going to let go of the cyclic and I'll be right there behind you. Sure. But just work on keeping that spot in the same place on the horizon. So I'm that's, moving. that's I'll all back. you. Yeah. I gotcha. And the helicopter is, it's almost like you just imagine flying it. Yeah. Very subtle movements will, will make it do interesting things. So it looks like for me it's moving a little bit left, so I'll yep. maybe push a little bit right with that. To the right. Okay. Yeah. Now the spot is climbing a little bit, so I'll go a little bit forward. Forward. Yeah. And maybe left this up. Yeah. Good, yeah. And you're, you're kind of feeling it out. So I'm not seeing anybody off to the right. Why don't you make a slight right turn? Keep that spot level on the horizon, but let's okay. just make a slight right turn. Okay, I'm trying to get a level. Yep. And then go right a little bit. Like like that? Or? Yeah, yeah, that looks good. And we're climbing a little bit, and that's fine. We're just getting a feel for the controls. Why don't you level it back out? Okay. Very good. And now why don't we make a left turn? It's clear to the left. Nobody's behind us to the left. Going down a little bit, that's okay. fine, that's so, fine. You're uh, just getting a feel for it. Yeah. I'm gonna make a radio call here real quick, so I'm just gonna grab this so I can make a call. Okay. Long Acres traffic, helicopter 907 Fort Trailer Whiskey is over the Blue Origin at 800 feet southbound, Long Acres. Okay, it's all yours. You got yeah. it, the cyclic, and now make a little bit more of a left turn, still clear to the left. And just work on keeping that spot right on the horizon. Good, nice, nice, nice. Why don't you kind of aim us back toward that, um, sort of there's a baseball field over there. Aim us kind of toward that baseball field. Right. Yeah, now we're pitching up a little bit. That's yep. that's fine. Like, we're we're not, we have a whole lot of room. That's why we do this early training up high. Yeah. Yeah, so you exactly. can move up and down and left and right and not have any problems. Cool, nice. Very cool. I'm going to tune our frequency over here. I'm a yeah, just fly us. Oh yeah, I got him. Thank you. Yeah, fly us right over that baseball field and see if you can get us at 800 feet. Don't don't fix it on. Just just kind of cross check 800 feet right over that baseball field. Got it. The instruments are just there as backups. We use it to make sure we're where we think we are. But our eyes and the windscreen are the most important thing to keep in mind. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm turning to the left uh, by mistake there, so keep this straight. Uh, right yeah. um, You're doing great, man. Zero five. You can keep on the controls. Let's aim us toward, you see the bottom of this hill here, there's a little brown patch in the grass? Yeah, kind of aim us toward that area, and I'm going to make a call here. Okay. Auburn traffic, November 8412 Charlie, turning left downwind 34. Auburn has helicopter in sight. Auburn traffic, helicopter 974 trailer whiskey is two and a half to the north at 800 feet. We'll be transitioning southbound on the east side of the field over the river in Auburn. Just letting them know we're here. Okay. So that's Auburn Airport right there. See those two red or four red oh, lights? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So you're doing a great job. Once we get a little bit um, east of Auburn over the river here, um, I'll have you. I'll take the cyclic and I'll let you play with the uh, collective. Okay. You can see what that does. Okay. You're doing a great job. I think this sort of like destination flying, like pick the next waypoint. Yeah. Just, I think you're probably getting a good feel for how it works. Cool. Yeah. You got a little low. That's fine. You know, maybe you can work on that by just easing slightly back bit. on the cyclic. Okay. Yeah. And you notice that as you do that. We also start losing airspeed because now we're climbing uphill. Yep, yep. And I'll talk about how to fix that when we move on to the collective. But for now, that that's fine. We don't have stall speeds in helicopters. Okay. We can go right to zero if we want. Okay. And not that we want to, but no. we could. Zero, Juliet, Mike, turning left base for three, four. Um, this, is this a good altitude or do you want to go higher? No, we're, we're good. Okay. We're good. Okay. I don't want to go much higher because um, if we get too high, the planes coming in are going to yeah. start yep. getting close. So see that stretch of river over there? Aim us toward that. Let's just fly toward that stretch of river. And let's uh, cool. keep it at 800 feet so you can ease a little bit down the cyclic as you turn. Um, 
this river or this one? Uh, that one right there. River, yeah. Uh, we're... So we're a little high, so there's two ways we can fix that. We can either ease down with the cyclic, like okay. you're doing, which is great. Okay. Um, that'll increase speed. Oh, I um, see. Because we're now going downhill. Yep. yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cyclic yep. back, and okay. I'll have you grab the collective. So I have the cyclic. You have just the collective. Okay. I have the throttle, though, so I'm not going to let go. I'm going to control the throttle. Okay. But very gently lower the collective and see what happens. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go for it. Low. So lower the collective. Okay. And you feel it's starting to drift downwards. Yeah. That spot on the horizon is starting to yeah, drift cyclic, like okay. you're doing, which is okay. great. And so okay. that's how we do a descent without, without increased speed. Without we lower the collective, we're maintaining that 70, and that's fine. So now we're going to use the cyclic, we're going to turn, and now raise the collective raise a bit. It. So raise the collective back up, and as you raise it, I'm adding some throttle because we're grabbing more air. Yeah, so now we're starting to climb. And I can ease forward. Okay. okay, if we take off in front of you here. I see. Yeah, we're fast stepping anyways. Yeah. So you see how that works? So yeah. if I want to slow down, let me show you something really quick. So if I want to slow down but not lose altitude, so I'm at 700 feet, 60 knots. If I want to slow down, I lower the collective and I hold my back with the cyclic. And see my airspeed is dropping, but I'm right at that 700 feet. Okay. Right? So I'm basically reducing the amount of power but I'm not letting myself lose altitude. With less power, same altitude, we're going to lose speed. So that's how you drop airspeed. Now, the opposite is true as well. If I want to increase airspeed, okay. I just add collective and pitch forward. Oh, and I see. I'm going to get us to 70 knots, 700 feet, and you'll see us kind of like as we start building through the airspeed. Oh, okay. And so that, that's how that works. Does that make sense?